Greg, Greg got me drinking thought juice. So I had to go, you know, for a little run right quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. But, Big um, shots to the thought juice drinkers. My fellow thought juice drinkers, I support you. Yes. All right, all right. So we are back on the um, hotline. We'll open up in a moment. The number is 877-760-1422. Now, Rock needs to calm down because I see he's ready right now. I ain't ready. Okay, okay, I'm so over here trying to figure out what the hell you about to talk about. Right. <laughs> like, like, what is this? Now, can men and women really be friends? Now, I had posted... Um, online i don't know if you saw the, on instagram and facebook a couple movies just giving examples now classic classic movie when harry met sally wow love that movie okay that's one example of i don't remember i'm sorry all right you know what Here before we go. my time i'm not just okay remember. before his time my bad my bad he was Most still times. in a you know Most what times. he was still in a in a in a, in a okay i ain't gonna say it. but <laughs> no but um that was a classic movie and basically in that movie for those of you who don't know when Harry met Sally you know they started off as friends and of course most of these movies they start off as friends things you know happen they go through life together and in the end they always kind of wind up together uh, same thing with brown sugar yeah friends from childhood and you know you get into they went to the hip-hop you know world business and then um, What's his name? Well, Sanai Leith and, and Tate Diggs. Yeah. Um, you know, they both were with other people, and then in between, there was always some kind of question as to whether or not they would be together, or maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't. Da 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 da. So, and then um, what was that? Oh, oh love and basketball. Love wow, that that's movie. That's, I love that movie. I own that one on DVD. But well, she's basically saying that when you do a movie with Sonali. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it just, I mean, can men and women really be friends? Now, I spoke to a couple of people. One person uh, said, a female I spoke to, she said yes. And she said that she was actually the best man at her, even though she's not a man, but she was the best woman. Maid of honor. No, best woman to her male friend's wedding. Oh. Okay. I thought that was kind of odd, but okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I, that that was a, that was a little strange. That'll, 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 that'll make my, my mother my mother <laughs> wouldn't let that ride for like thirty minutes. <laughs> like hold on. My mother's like, all right, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, then I got I got a um. On, on Facebook, on our page, someone made a comment. Because I do have a lot of male friends, uh -huh. rock included. Yeah, I have a lot of female friends too. Yes. Now, the thing is, um, being that I have a lot of male friends, hmm, I don't know if uh -huh. we're friends because, I mean, initially there was an attraction, uh -huh. and you know, I just shut them down. <laughs> Because it, it seems like it's always like it's, it's gonna be one-sided. No, I think I, it's gonna be one-sided. Well, I have ugly female friends too. See, and that's <laughs> the thing. That's the thing. Somebody, um, shout out to Dre all day, Mr. Fett on IG. He said, if you're ugly, yes, you can be friends. <laughs> that's what he said. Nah. Now nah, he and that's not the only person that said that to me. Um, I was told that it's okay, like if the person's not attractive, if they're ugly, then you could be friends with them. But, but what about the other way around? What if the person that's ugly or not attractive attracted to you? Well... That's something to think about. If the person that's not attractive is attracted to you? Right. Well, you know, unless somebody says something, they know my name on no. True. But I think some... T or I have been told several times that there's always some sort of hidden agenda. Mm. There's a hidden... I think there's Matter of fact, sorry. Uh, Shout out to her because man law... They had a show a little while ago um, saying, you know, and, and they basically said, no, man and women can't be friends. And they also said that. Niggas got bones, that's why. Niggas <laughs> got velociraptor bones, uh -uh, that's why they no. said they can't. 
be afraid. No, but they said, but they said guys will wait and have patience and just them kind of niggas wait. will wait and have patience. Guys wait for the will wait opportunity. And have patience. <laughs> them niggas will wait and have patience. Man law. <laughs> Man Shout claw. out to Man, Man balls. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, nah, don't sit there. No men will wait. No, here's the situation. Can I break it down? Break it down. All right, well, I'm all right. Break it down. Break it down. I'm, I'm listening. It all depends on what type of lifestyle you lived to understand the the connection with someone with the opposite sex. Because if you're a horn dog and you're running around horn and horn after everything you see <laughs> and everything you see a picture of, of course you can't be friends with anyone because there is a hidden agenda. But if you are professional enough to be with someone and you just know that, you know, your race is pretty. Like, they're pretty, but we're friends, you know what I'm saying? Come on, we went to church together, like, you know what I'm saying? We didn't cry, brought the Holy Ghost together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so it's just like... No, but, I mean, we have a history. Yeah. So, you are friends with someone, I don't know if you're still friends with them, but you're friends with somebody that I used to deal with. That used to deal with. So, it's just like... That would never happen anyway, because... But then I got friends that aren't that aren't as attractive as you to the eye. <laughs> but then you know what? They they have attractive minds to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And as opposed to a, a pretty girl, a pretty dumb girl, there's girls that aren't so that aren't my interest. That I think their mind is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know the mind can make you attractive to somebody. Yeah, the mind can really make you attractive. Because you can yeah. be real ugly. Yeah. I, mean, that's a, I don't know if that's politically correct. Facially, facially challenged. You can be <laughs> facially challenged or yeah. extremely unattractive. And if, you, I mean, back in the day, I mean, I had a friend, but this was like when I was like mm, junior high school, you know, a long time ago. And he was retarded. And you and still. He, no, we were really. No, we <laughs> he were, was mentally challenged. <laughs> no, but he was, he was um, really unattractive. Mm. And he had a missing finger, but we won't get into that. But. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, and when that nigga opened his mouth, he did the words to Big Papa and got her, and got her connected. You know what I'm saying? No, but, but the mind, like, and, and I, I, you know, you can actually start feeling something for yeah. somebody because the mental mm. to be there, but I couldn't do it. Mm. Like, there's no way I could, I couldn't, I could, no, we couldn't do it. Because okay. I wasn't, I wasn't attracted Maybe to Maybe glad Molly's wasn't out there. You know what? <laughs> Molly's gave everybody a pass. They nah. just too. <laughs> Not that it happened to me, but. Yeah, so I mean, 877-760-1422 if anybody wants to chime in on the topic. But I don't know. It's, it's a tricky situation because what it was this one. I, no, it was another situation where, I don't know, people get very friendly. Like, okay, the movie um, Friend with Benefits. Okay, yeah. With Justin Timberlake and um, I forgot the girl's name. But anyway, um... You agree? I mean, I'm, we're friends, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, we trust each other. We love yeah. each other as friends. Mm -hmm. And say we don't want to deal with a relationship, mm -hmm. but we know each other. Mm -hmm. So which is a relationship? It is a Be relationship. Class. It's a it's a platonic relationship. Yeah, it's platonic. Yeah. But let's say big word, big word. Like, we'll, we'll break it down. Platonic <laughs> meaning. There's no sexual okay. uh, yeah, activity gotcha. involved, right? So, um, say I'm hitting a dry spell mm. or something, and <laughs> you know, I just feel like getting it in. Uh -huh. And you're my friend, uh -huh. um, and I just want to get it in. But we're still friends. Yeah. Are we still friends? Yeah, you're still friends. But but I'm not but, saying but, that. But, but, I'm but, not saying that. But no, nothing. No, we're not but, talking but about. I, I, mean, I had a point in my life. There was a point in my life that I went down roads where <laughs> it, it, it happened like that. And you know what happened? And I can be honest about this. And I, I, I've told my other about this. You know what I'm saying? We've had talks about this. Mm -hmm. It was one of those situations where you go out and you 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 have you have this you have this moment where you're drinking and you're having a good time and everything and then you go out and then and then and then it happens right and then it happens but it happens between two professional people that knows that the next morning is something to really laugh about because you couldn't believe it happened but it doesn't happen again and it's like really respected on both sides that 
You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, wait, 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 doesn't happen again. It doesn't happen again. It doesn't yeah. happen again. Because, because we know what that happened. There are certain, there are things that you, there are drugs that you can take. We got to kind of like signs a contract, pretty much puts a contract on the table, and both people sign it. And then when you're off, when you're off it, you're just like, okay, wow, that happened. I was crazy. You know, wow, I can't believe No, but that that's happened. like, 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 um, Jamie Foxx, blame it, blame it on the alcohol. No, you ain't. I, oh, no, not we even on, alcohol. We didn't put on the blame it on the alcohol. We blamed it on the night because the night made that happen. Mm. How the night made it happen? No, but there had to be. Hold on, there had to be some sort of attraction for anything to happen. It couldn't have just been like. It's just gonna happen out the blue. It was just something to do, like. You no, know, no, 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 no. It wasn't like something to do. But all right, say if you go out to this amazing party and we both get stoned. You know what I'm saying? Blame I mean, alcohol. get destructive. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, you're walking on a beach and everybody's talking openly, and then next thing you know, it's a beautiful moment. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean everybody's talking openly? Who's everybody? I mean, like, it's an open talk. It's like, you know, I'm your friend, you're my friend, and we're just walking and we're talking, but we're friends. We're your like, friends, we're really but, okay, so do you have a significant other? And all of this? Oh, the significant other is not your lawful significant other. Right, right. No, but I'm not saying it's lawful. We're not talking yeah. about technic yeah. technically married. We're not talking about that. But see, this is this is this is, this is why I don't know. I don't know if if, if I trust it because mm -hmm. I know I trust myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust myself, and mm -hmm. I know that there are certain situations that I really shouldn't put myself in. Okay. Well, well, all right. So, so here's my Tupac Chopra in that. Here we go. All right, you ready? All right, now here's where I go to the stars. The walk on the beach didn't already put us in the bed anyway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, well, I, because on, on this beach, because the, there's a party right here, and okay. the beach is right there, <laughs> okay. and you're drinking, and you walk to the water, and you're pouring beer in the water, and you're pouring beer, and oh, she's, she's going time. halfway in the water, and the dress is getting wet and everything, and you're having a great time. You know what I'm saying? So it's a moment, mm. you know? Well, you know what? Back in the days okay. that happened. Listen. I went through this back in the days. <laughs> okay. okay. We, we have to uh, make sure we reiterate back in back the days. Back in the days. And not, nobody in this place in here that happened with. So, you know, just clear that up. Oh, gosh. Look, no, definitely right. not. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Sure. Definitely yeah. not. No, yeah, no, no. Nah. It ain't that type of party. But, but you know, the thing is... Okay, when you are in a serious relationship um, or married, I don't know if it's such a good idea. I mean, you can have friends, but there have, has to be some kind of limitation. What's the limitation? Explain. Okay. All right, I don't expect my significant other to be uh, going to the movies or anybody else. But he should be able to. What? He should be able Why? to. Because if he knows, no, if he's no. professional, no, no, but listen, if, if he's, he's, if he's no, professional no, enough no, to no, go to the no. movies with somebody and know that what is What is that profession, what, what, what does that have to do with, this is not a job, this is, this is, no. Certain things, my thing is, is, is for me. Certain things uh -huh. gotta be for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't want, for you? Yeah. I don't want my, people go out and, people go out to movies together and they're not, they're not together. Okay, that's just, yeah, but that's just me. People that's go out to dinner together and they're not together. Lunch. Right, yeah, but lunch. you're you're in public, not in a dark. I just have thing a, a thing about going to the movies and being in a dark place with. Mm. Nah, I don't. That's uh, just me. That's my school. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's just my opinion. I'm not comfortable with that. To to me, the movies is kind of like a that's no, an intimate tell, thing. No, let me tell you something. And you think about all the stuff that be going. Let me, let me the break down the nigger book. How do they say <laughs> it? At the the day she comes, nigger book. If a nigger wanna do something, it won't be the movies. It won't be what you think the romantic um, intimate well, part. Well, nah, is. I don't know, cause I it's know some people be, that I heard stories and uh, it, it could go movies. down anywhere. It could go down anywhere. That's it can go down anywhere. So it's just like, come on, like you, you can't like just based on movies. I can go to the movies no, with somebody. No, I don't know. Some things, happen. no, but I just think some. If you're spending quality time, I don't really necessarily want my significant other. Spending the time is already limited. Uh huh. Time is already limited. I'm busy. Was you dying? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Now, if you got cancer, we can't do this. Uh -huh. Or diabetes or anything. <laughs> you have a sickness, of course we can't spend time. Ladies, time eight seven 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 six zero one four two two. I know there's somebody out there listening. No, certain things is just a time and a place. I'm not saying that you can't have friends, but once you're in a relationship, you gotta limit something. You can't be always out and about with another person. I think your ex can. Be hanging out. Fair yeah, what? I think that. I think the ex, right, Greg? Um, the ex yeah, is totally enough. out of it. Fair enough. I mean, the if, if it's a group, if it's yeah. a group, if it's a group friends. thing, I get. If it's a group thing, okay. But that one-on-one -on -one thing, I don't trust it. So now, say that I say, okay, say you had some sort of uh, argument or something with your significant other, you're like, I'm and gonna you're turn not, up. nah, and you not necessarily on good terms right now. So now I'm hanging out with somebody else and maybe I'm feeling vulnerable or whatever the case is and you're supposed to be my quote unquote best friend or my good friend or my friend blah uh -huh. blah blah and now all of a sudden because I may be angry or not feeling this other person at your this porn, moment. Your pornness want to come out and want to be an animal. <laughs> That's basically what it is. The pornness was really in you a long time yeah, ago. But, but my and your is. sex drive was always at 5,000. See, why but I it just, here? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, cause, cause I want to break down the truth to this. Like, your sex drive was at 5,000 when you were born. <laughs> so it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? If you turn it up tonight, it ain't going to be an argument. It ain't going to be nothing. If you're going to turn up, you're going to turn up. That's just how it is. If, That's how well, it is. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. No. I'm serious. I mean, okay, well, this is just maybe my opinion or maybe not, but <laughs> there have been situations where, listen, I mean, you gotta know yourself, and as far as women are concerned, you gotta be careful because y'all men can be real tricky. How? Explain. I'm not talking about you and you two that are in the room no, in, no, no, per no. se, but I'm just saying men just watching y'all move like what if somebody want to slip you something in your drink and you just think that you chill next thing you know you don't remember you wake up clothes off kind of rabbit like, oh you, you know, remember like, it we did make this before too you remember it you just can't believe that you're there what? but you remember it <laughs> What I'm saying is like, Why did I come here tonight, why, man? Why did I, why I just have to pop up at the wrong time? But uh -huh. I'm saying, see, now we're going to get, you know, get at each other. But, no, just certain situations. Um, I mean, I have self-control, but sometimes people uh -oh, just... Uh -oh, uh -oh, what? Oh. Uh, shut up. <laughs> I don't know about... Uh, no, but you know what? Okay. So I was told that I don't have any male friends, really, because if I call any one of my male friends over... Mm -hmm. And be like, yo, I need, you know, let's get it in or whatever. Ain't nobody gonna turn it down. Uh, well, uh, well, you know, well, see, see people breathing. Well, if I offered you some kind of, uh, I'd read a scripture to you. <laughs> I'd like now, Chris, something wrong. <laughs> you better read the Bible. But but that's because you're a real friend. Yeah. Real friend. And the history and the history can't destroy that because you also know my other. So yeah. that can that can't happen. Yeah, but so I'm like, Chris, Chris, you better call you that page because <laughs> that nigga just come in for 15 minutes, do you good, and didn't leave, and you ain't got to have to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, call back page and get the hell off my phone. Hold on, Greg. Hold on, but if you call Greg. <laughs> no, 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 but we just we just joking. We just joke. Just joke. <laughs> now I would never disrespect anybody. And now I'm not gonna front. You will get a pause on the phone <laughs> when you say it. Like if you just call me out of blue and say it. I am gonna say. <laughs> and I'm like, like what the what what the what the uh -uh. You, know, you will get that, but my senses will come back and you know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> That's just the roof roof. Really That's just the no, because off. men, you know, men are. I'm not saying women are not sexual, but women are more sexual than men. I'm not Let's do that next week. Yes. Look, women are more sexual. This is than part men. two of Rock Walla because the last time he came up here, it's two more parts. He um, said four. Yeah, parts. he said he was coming up for four. <laughs> so, so this is officially my second this part. This is officially your second part. Stop dropping up here. This is my second part. <laughs> like, uh, women are more up. sexual than men. That's a whole nother. They topic. are. We're just more yielding. <laughs> so you were willing to give in? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that y'all little it, lions it with y'all manes <laughs> be know. lurking. 
Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's come back. We gonna be. All right. We we. Put put on. Don't look any further. My dentist that one. Uh, we, yeah. listen. All right, we are going to take a break. Um, I know the people are listening because they hit my phone up. So stop texting me and call. Uh, not Rock gonna... the bitch ass. <laughs> if you want to, yes. Uh, seven six zero one four two two. That's the hotline. Um, if you if you search, hotline tonight. Yes, yes. If you search on Google or Yahoo, and you get the mobile app, the mobile yeah, app, we have a mobile app. When you uh, when you, the mobile website, mobile website. You just click on the on the button. It says button. radio. Radio. It's it says radio and, and it's, it's it's official. Like click radio. Yeah, just listen. click radio. You click call. You call right in. It's 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 simple. It's easy. Or you can click. And it ain't call. the hotline tonight. It's the thought line. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes. <laughs> it's the thought line. <laughs> we'll be right back.